I'm Jessica Kinley Maxwell, and I am co managing director and head of design at Philox. Philox is a furniture manufacturer and retailer based in Manila, founded by my parents in 1980. I am here today in partnership with BDO Private Bank and Fig and Vine Floral Studio to show you how to create a beautiful holiday tablescape and also to give you some ideas and tips on the art of entertaining. Come in and join me. I've always been a very visual person, so I think my love for tablescaping started many years ago. I love it because it's a fun creative outlet that allows me to add a personal touch to any occasion. Whether it be a casual brunch or a holiday dinner, tablescaping is a great way to make these moments with our nearest and dearest even more special. When entertaining during the holidays, or entertaining in general, I think a great way to go about it is to use the five basic senses. Smell, sight, hearing, touch, and taste as a guide to the elements that need to be prepped in time for the occasion, all of which I will go through with you today. Speaking of sight and touch, the first thing I like to do is come up with a theme and a color palette, then expand from there. So today, for example, we are prepping for an intimate holiday dinner for a party of six and I'm taking inspiration from the tones and the textures of my dining room to create the ambiance for tonight's dinner. So here in my dining room, I have a Philox dining table. This is called the Alva table and it's actually a custom version of it because it has a crema marfil stone top. Um, the base, as you can see, is a scallop profile, wooden base, and it has a really beautiful brass accent as well. Um, and I have this paired with these rattan chairs, which are vintage. And I also have here in my dining room our Maxwell Buffet, which is super functional because that's where I put all my plates, cutleries, and all the, the stuff that I need for entertaining. So here we have one of my favorite pieces in the room. It's the ceiling pendant light, and it's a very natural looking piece, but it has this beautiful brass accent at the top. It's made out of coconut shells and wooden beads, and I just love that sort of natural rustic look that it gives. Back here I have my husband's grandmother's painting, and it has the deep greens that you see on the chairs and in the plants, and I just love how it ties everything in. And given the natural materials featured in some of the pieces here, I will be going with a more neutral and subdued palette with metallic touches for the dinnerware and silverware in order to keep the overall look elegant and luxe. Today, we have the Fig and Vine team with us to assist us with the floral arrangements for the evening. Fig and Vine is a floral studio that can create custom arrangements and also has a wide selection of other items, including ready-made table centerpieces, wreaths, and mini Christmas trees. These are perfect for entertaining and for gift giving. So together with the Fig and Vine team, we created this beautiful arrangement. Um, it's quite a large arrangement, but it's perfect for the size of the table. If you're sitting down, you can still see the person across you and have those meaningful conversations and it's a stunning piece. It's something to look at and a conversation piece for the dinner. So this arrangement is a 360 arrangement. So it has a couple of flowers, special flowers on one side and on the other side, you know, different types of flowers. I wanted to make it interesting for the guests. Um, here we have some of my favorite flowers. We have Proteas. These are from South Africa. They're beautiful and they last forever. Um, we also have roses and pin cushions and eucalyptus. Um, and the colors just marry very well together and it just brings everything together nicely. And in the spirit of the holiday season, we also added some fresh pine leaves, which has a very strong scent and is very nice because it gives you that nostalgic Christmas holiday vibe. Um, we also have here some pine cones, which is a very nice Christmas decor as well. If you plan to serve buffet style, then you can have your serveware and your dishes on the table and you can do two smaller floral arrangements like these that speak to the center arrangement that's on your main table. So should you opt for Russian style service wherein the dishes are served individually, 
Um, you could just decide to decorate your buffet table with a long floral arrangement as we did here. So over here we use the same elements um, and leaves and plants that we use for the main dining piece. And we've got the pine leaves, the cones, um, berries to like add that pop of color and it just feels very festive. Um, so this is a very nice way to decorate your buffet table as well. So if you wanted to add that extra festive touch, you can add a decorative element on either side of the buffet. Um, over here I have a locally designed and crafted Christmas tree and it's made out of um, metal sheet. So for the dining table, I decided not to use a tablecloth because I wanted to highlight the beautiful crema marfil stone top. Um, as you can see, the table is round. So we're going to go with a round um, placemat. And I chose a very natural placemat. It's a very simple one. Um, this is made out of rattan. And I chose this because I wanted to sort of have this complement the other natural elements in the room, like the light fixture, the rattan matting on the buffet, you know, the rattan chair. So it kind of all ties in very, very nicely together. So as I've said earlier, we're going for a more subdued palette um, so we don't compete with the beautiful floral arrangement that's in the center of the table. Um, I chose silvers and golds and here we have a set of a charger and a dinner plate um, with a very minimalist modern pattern as you can see here. And for the salad plate and the bread plate, um, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going for something a bit more organic and just to kind of break off the rigidity of everything else. So here we have a beautiful organic plate that has a really nice gold trimming around it. So again, silvers and golds is the theme. For the cutlery, I'm going for something very modern. These ones over here, which are very sleek and beautiful. So we've got the salad fork, the dinner fork, the main dinner knife, the salad knife, our appetizer knife, and the dinner spoon. And then we've got our dessert spoon and fork, which we'll place right over here. There we go. And this cutlery was gifted to us for our wedding. Um, so it's always nice to use pieces that really mean something to you, right? To use them for these special occasions. And now to add that natural Filipino elegant touch, we're gonna go for this beautiful mother of pearl napkin ring, um, which is from Philux. Um, it's called the faceted napkin ring. And you can actually order it in several different colors in any of our Philux showrooms. So I'm using it here with a beautiful, just very simple um, white cotton napkin. And I've got here the coaster, but this one's made out of capiz. So again, this brings that whole natural element into the room and into our tablescape. And for the glassware, tonight I'll be serving red wine. So I've got my red wine glass over here, and then you need water. So here's my water goblet, which is made out of crystal. Um, it's a beautiful piece. And if you have any unique or special pieces, um, this is the perfect occasion to use it. So do bring out all your special pieces and display them because now is the time to do so. And for the finishing touches, it's always nice to have a place card holder with the names of the guests on them. Um, so the guests know exactly where to sit when they come to the dining room and they feel at ease. Then to add a fun and playful touch, I like to um, add a little bit of a treat for the kids because there are lots of kids in the family. So for the holiday season, I ordered some Christmas cookies, which I'm gonna add to my tablescape. And one of the last but super important elements when tablescaping is mood and lighting. Um, with that, I like to use candlesticks. So here I have a metallic gold candlestick with a silver candle holder which adds that pop over here. And I'll be using four all over around the table. And these also are great because they play with height and scale and texture and color. Um, so it adds to the whole tablescape. Um, also, I love to have my lights on. So I have this direct ceiling fixture on to like highlight the main arrangement in the middle of the table. And I've also got the two table lamps at the back to give it a more moody vibe. Mm -hmm. 
Going back to the senses, the last two that I like to think about are sound and scent. And it's good to have your playlists ready to go so that you don't have to worry about it when the guests are here. To start, I like to keep the mood mellow with a more loungy, jazzy vibe. And then later in the evening, we can put up the music and make it a little bit more upbeat. When it comes to scents, I always have candles lit in the foyer or in the living area before the guests arrive because it enhances the mood and the ambiance of the space. My personal favorites recently have been the Philux 1980 candles, which are not only wonderful scents for the home, but are great sculptural pieces that are the perfect gift for a loved one or for yourself. It adds a lovely design feature to any space. At the dining table, it is best to have non-scented candles so that it doesn't clash with the food that's served on the table. Proteas. I love mojitos. My husband's birthday brunch, which we hosted outdoors. I love smoked salmon and I have that with some dill and lemon and capers and it's perfect. Cheesecake. I would say lunch now because we sleep early and we're early risers. <laughs> Specialty dish would be our pot roast, which we love to have for dinners. Best holiday of the year is Christmas, of course. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me today and have a happy, happy holiday.